Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial, featuring a song by blues man R. L. Burnside. See my jumper hanging on the line. This song is really close to my heart because it reminds me of the fact that my dad played this style of guitar when he was living on a farm in Georgia back in the 50s. This song is based on a single chord shape and features an intricate strumming pattern that I will show you how I emulate. The pattern varies quite a bit, but I will show you a basic pattern that you can build upon. After that, we will cover some R.L. Burnside blues riffs. The guitar is tuned standard E-A-D-G-B-E, -E, and I have a capo at fret 1. Actually, I have two capos at fret 1 in order to eliminate fret buzz. The key is F minor, but I had to tune by ear in order to match the original recording. They did not have digital tuners back then. So now, let's get started learning the strumming pattern, and then we'll get to the riffs. The first thing you'll have to be able to do is to play a muted strum like this. Now I'm going to place my fingers under the strings, or the high strings down here, and my thumb on the low string and I'm going to use my index finger to do this. We need to be able to get that scratch going. I'm going to put my fingers on an E minor chord shape. Okay? Holding the strings, as I said before, we're going to, we're going to be doing that. But we're going to do this. That's a muted strum. Now I'm touching the strings down here. Even though, even though I've got my E minor chord shape, I'm using my other fingers to mute the strings, right? And I'm going to open that up like that and go to the chord. So we'll be doing this quite a bit. Now that we have our E minor chord shape in place, we need to learn how to do an easy alternating bass pattern like this. That's playing the low E string and going to the A string back and forth. Okay. Now we need to add a muted strum between those bass notes like this. So I'm squeezing my chord in order to get those bass notes out. Here's the low E string, the A string, low E, mute, A string, mute. And we want to play it this way. Now, if you learn how to play only that, you're able to play this song. See my jump alone hanging on the line. Now, we want to build on that, okay? So, we're going to add some things. Now that we've got that part down, we need to add a melody that sounds something like this.
Now this is possible to do. All you have to do is work on it. Now do not get frustrated if you cannot do this right away. I worked on this drumming pattern for hours before I was happy with it. So expect to spend some time with it. Okay, here we go. Now I'm not going to do everything with my thumb. Here's how we're going to do this. We're going to start this way. That's the low E string. And that's a G chord. These three strings open are a G chord. Now if we play those strings, we've got a G6 chord. So the three chords that we're working through are going to be E minor, G major, and G6. But the only chord shape we're going to use is this E minor chord shape, okay? So we're going to bounce back and forth from that. So here we go. Here's how we're going to do this. We're going to put our E minor chord shape in place. We're going to go to the low E string with the thumb. We're going to play a chord with the index finger. Then we're going to take the thumb and go to the second fret. We're here, our chord is in place, so we've got a note at the second fret on the A string. And then we're going to take this finger again, like that, and then go to the low E string. So that's. That's our pattern. Here's the first part of the pattern. The second part. And that's with the E minor, and we opened it up like that. Go back to that note at the second fret on the A string. Up. And when we came up, we opened up the chord again down, put the chord back in, open, and then back to the low E string. So here it is slowly. Let's see what it sounds like a little faster. So basically what we're doing is just up and down on this chord right here. And we're making sure that we get that bass note in there. Now, Mr. Burnside does a lot of things and a lot of variations with this strumming pattern. He'll basically, he'll hammer on right here on that uh, D string at the second fret like this. He also does some other things like changing the strumming pattern on that index finger. He'll play something like this. every now and then he'll open up that G6 chord. Now once you get the pattern going, 
you can do all sorts of things and all sorts of variations. Just try some different things until you get it to sounding the way you want it to sound. Now once you get the basic pattern going, just add whatever you feel like to get comfortable with that pattern. Now that was a up, up, up with the index finger. Here's how we'll get from the riff into the strumming pattern. Now what we did there is we did an up, down, up muted strum. And then we're going to play the second fret on the A string. And then hammer on to the D string second fret. And then back into our strumming pattern. Here it is. So here's our riff and our strumming pattern. Now let's learn some R.L. Burnside riffs. Let's start with the opening riff of the song that sounds something like this. Now there all I did was I played the low E string, the D string at the second fret, and the high E string. On that, I went to the third fret on the low E string, bent it down, and then went to the second fret on the D string, and then the high E string. So that's. Just playing around with the strings. do a riff like this. In order to play that, we're going to start with the open B string. Then we'll go to the third fret on the B string, hit it, and bend it up. And then we'll go to the open E and play. That's three of them. So. Back to the third fret on the B string, bend it up again. Open E. Then back to the open B string. 2nd fret on the G string, play and hammer on the open G string to fret 1, and then land on the 2nd fret on the D string, then the low E string, so that's Thank mm -hmm. you. 
And then we'll go into our strumming pattern. After we get the song going, riff one will sound like this. Here's riff one. In order to play riff one, we went to fret three on the B string bent it up, then played the open E string three times. Go back to the third fret B string, bend it again, the open E, and then we're going to play a double stop open on the G and B string. Then the second fret G string, hammering on from the open G string to fret 1 and then fret 2 on the D string. So again that's We'll do that riff again with a variation, and the only difference is that we'll play the open E string twice, like this. So we did the exact same thing, except two open E's. Now riff two will go like this. For this one we're doing double stops. We'll start here at the second fret on the G and the B string, bend it up, then we'll play the B and high E open. We'll go back to fret 2 and that's on the B and G string. We'll open that up. Then we'll play fret 2 and bend it up twice. Then open it. Go back to fret 2. So that's Once again, back to fret 2, open, then we'll go to the second fret on the G string, bend it, come back down to pitch, hit it again, go to the open G string, and hammer on to fret 1, and then end on fret 2 on the D string. So here's the entire thing.
Now for riff three, we'll play this. So we did our double stop at fret two on the G and B string. Open, go back to fret two and bend it twice. Then open it up. Then we'll go to the G string, fret two, strike it, bend it. Then play the open B string. Go back to that fret, hit it again and bend it. Bring it back down the pitch. Play the G string, open, hammer on the one. Land on fret two on the D string. Here we go again. Now here's the ending riff for the song. It goes something like this. In order to play that, we'll go to the high E string, play fret 3, pull off to fret 2, and then pull off to open. So, like that. Then we'll go to the B string, fret three, two, open. Then to the G string, fret two. Hammer on from the open G string to fret one. Then we're going to go to the D string and do this. So what we did is we played that note at the second fret pulled off to open and hammer on to the second fret on the A string. Like that. Then we're going to play that A string at the second fret again. And then the D string, open, one, two. Then the low E string and the high E string. So here we go again. All right, my friends, that's how I play R. L. Burnside chord strumming and riffs. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great day.